Mr. District Attorney, is it possible to know what the impact of corrupt actors in Albany is in terms of the public policy that we're getting, how that corruption is altering that public policy, or, or even how it's impacting the entire state, the image of the state, that sort of thing? Well, it's a big question with no simple answer. Uh, obviously, to the degree that the public is under the impression that the legislators and executives uh, in any branch of government are not dealing fairly with the issues that come before them, uh, that erodes our confidence in government generally, and it erodes it at the, at the highest levels, and, it, and it, it, that, that lack of confidence extends down to the local level. So there is no, there is no uh, direct answer to your question. I think um, at this program this morning, I think people focused on some things that we can do. First of all, simplicity and clarity. Uh, that's not always easy to achieve, but uh, uh, I am one of those people who believes that uh, full-time legislators with no outside income, while I understand others may disagree, provides kind of one focus for those people who go to work uh, for the state, and I think that's an example of some of the discussion this morning. And then I also think that uh, another obvious thing we need is to have uh, strong enforcement. Uh, not enforcement for the sake of being tough, but to make sure that people know that in every county of this state uh, there are prosecutors who are empowered to investigate and act where appropriate, uh, uh, not for political purpose, but for the right purpose, and we don't have those laws today. Uh, and frankly, I think that puts the burden on the federal government uh, to do all of it, and they can't do it all. Uh, even as good a job as they do, they just can't do it all. So more enforcement, appropriate enforcement powers, clarity, simplicity, and then I think people also talk today just about um, uh, people who are in government and leading government speaking about ethics in a way that people can understand and exerting discipline over the folks who work for them to adhere to those high standards. It, the sense is that the actors in Albany are not disciplining themselves effectively enough, and so it's come to prosecutors, particularly on the federal level, to sort of keep those bad actors in check. Is there more that prosecutors on the county level, state level, and federal level can and should be doing? Well, as I've said, uh, there are a package of enforcement actions we think the legislature and the governor should support and uh, the district attorney's association during my year as presidency wrote a detailed report the white collar crime task force not just prosecutors but defense lawyers judges academicians it was a nonpartisan good government effort to answer your question what laws should be changed so i think we know what should be changed um, and uh, and yet i you know, I, I believe that we, the, the answer is going to be in the people insisting uh, in good government by their legislators. This is really, I think, a, both a ground up and a top down situation. Uh, the people need to voice their concern. Uh, the leadership needs to express what it expects from those who work in the business of politics, and both those can be improved. And finally, sir, on, on any level of policing and prosecuting, obviously you can't make sure that everybody follows every rule right. all the time. So you, you go after big cases, you go after high profile people, and you hope that that has a ripple effect that keeps other people in line. Right. Is it the same when it comes to, to politicians acting illegally or unethically? Is it, is it picking off big fish that then ho the hope is it, it pushes other people to stay in line? I, there are people who are in a position of trust uh, where if that trust is violated, those, that's going to be a factor in deciding whether or not a prosecutor moves forward. Uh, so uh, I don't believe that we should be focusing on, on, on minor offenses. Uh, I think resources really require that we focus on the more large-scale problems. Um, but you have to be able to do both. That is, you need to have some... Uh, uh, investigative capacity at the lower level. So we've recently completed, for example, an investigation where we indicted a number of uh, local officials in the housing department and the buildings department. Uh, I would characterize that as big impact on the people who live in those communities, but not the highest level of, uh, of government officials involved. Important case, I believe, to bring, uh, because people at the middle level of management need to know they're going to be accountable, not just the ones who are at the very top of the heap. Mr. District Attorney, thank you very much. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you.